you have an internet bill. It's been called the kill switch uh, bill that uh, would allow the president to seize control or shut down portions yeah. of the internet uh, if uh, the U.S. was under some sort of cyber attack. I don't know if you've seen the internet lately. But there's a lot of people out there who think that what you are granting the president is absolute power to shut down freedom of speech. I mean, this is, that this is just over the top. No way. And total misinformation. I, I don't know whether people are intentionally peddling the misinformation. Here's the fact. Um, cyber war is going on in some sense right now. Our, our civilian infrastructure, the, the internet that runs the electric grid, the telecommunications grid, transportation, all the rest is, is constantly being probed by nation states, by some terrorist groups, by organized criminal gangs. And uh, w we need this capacity in time of war. We need the capacity for the president to say, um, internet service provider, we've got to disconnect the American internet from all traffic coming in from another foreign country. Or we've got to put a patch on this part of it. The president will never take over. The government should never take over the internet. And listen, we've consulted, Senator Collins and I are proposing this bill, with civil liberties and privacy experts. This is a matter of national security. A cyber attack on America can do as much or more damage today by incapacitating our banks, our, our, our communications, our, our, our finance, uh, our, our transportation as a conventional war attack. And the president, in, in catastrophic cases, not going to do it every day, not going to take it over. So I, I say to my friends on the Internet, relax. Take a look at the bill. And, and this is something that we need to protect our country. Right now, China, the government, can disconnect parts of its internet in the case of war. We need to have that here, too.